Did you know that our solar system has visitors? And what if I told you that scientists estimate there could be over 100 million trillion interstellar objects wandering our galaxy right now? Well, for months, astronomers have been tracking one. Its name is 3i divided by Atlas, and it's a mysterious interstellar visitor that has been confounding scientists all over the world. Something strange is happening in our inner solar system because of it, but just days ago, something extraordinary occurred. Three, I divided by Atlas, crossed the orbit of Mercury, the closest planet to the Sunday. And as it did, NASA's instruments began detecting fluctuations in light, in radiation, and even in the magnetic field surrounding our star. What happens next could change how we understand the boundaries between life, matter, and the universe itself. When 3i divided by Atlas was first discovered, it was just a faint smudge of light, moving way too fast, glowing too strangely. Astronomers quickly realized this wasn't an ordinary comet or asteroid. It wasn't even born here. It came from beyond, from interstellar space, perhaps ejected from another star system millions of years ago. Its trajectory defied patterns, its brightness pulsed irregularly, and its surface reflected light in a way that no natural rock should. And now, as it crosses Mercury's orbit, the object is doing something completely unprecedented. Get this. NASA's Solar and Heliospheric Observatory detected a sudden spike in ultraviolet radiation directly in the region where 3i divided by Atlas passed. This wasn't solar flare activity. The sun was quiet. Instead, it appeared as though the object itself emitted a brief pulse of energy, a kind of light signature, as if it was responding to the sun's proximity. For scientists, this is baffling. No natural body should emit such a coherent, directed light pattern. It's almost as if the object reacted to sunlight consciously or mechanically. The shape of the light emission resembled a short burst repeating at regular intervals, similar to a coded signal. Some have even described it as a heartbeat. So what's really going on here? NASA scientists from the Goddard Space Flight Center began analyzing data from multiple sources. The Parker Solar Probe, the Solar Dynamics Observatory, and the James Webb Space Telescope. They all showed the same thing. When 3i divided by Atlas crossed Mercury's orbital path, its outer shell heated up far less than expected. Now, let's pause on that. This is a critical piece of the puzzle. We call this thermal inertia. A normal dead rock or a chunk of ice should absorb solar radiation and heat up predictably. It follows the laws of thermodynamics, but 3i divided by Atlas isn't. This lack of heating suggests an incredibly sophisticated method of thermal regulation, or perhaps a material composition utterly alien to us. Something with near-perfect reflectivity or an internal cooling mechanism. Unlike ordinary comets that release gas and dust explosively when close to the sun, 3i divided by Atlas remained unnervingly stable. It didn't disintegrate, it didn't flare, it simply glowed. And then it dimmed, deliberately, it seemed, as though it adjusted its brightness in response to observation. Now, that's not possible, right? At least not naturally. But what if 3 I divided by Atlas isn't natural. What if it's something else? Something we don't yet have words for. Harvard astrophysicist doctor Avi Loeb, who famously suggested that Oumuamua might have been artificial, has spoken about three Atlas. I divided by Atlas with the same caution and the same curiosity. We must keep our minds open, he said in a recent interview. Objects from interstellar space could be messengers, technological or biological. And dismissing the possibility limits our ability to understand what's truly out there. Let's think about that for a moment. Imagine an object traveling through interstellar space for millions of years, absorbing radiation, starlight and cosmic particles until it drifts into our system and wakes up. Not because it's alive in the way we understand life, but because it's reactive, adaptive, maybe even self-aware on a level beyond biology. As it crosses Mercury's orbit, the sunlight striking it is nearly seven times stronger than what we experience on Earth. That kind of energy can melt metals, 
vaporize ice and destroy fragile compounds. Yet 3i divided by Atlas is not breaking apart, it's enduring. And according to NASA's infrared data, parts of its surface actually cool down as the sun's radiation increases, which is impossible under normal physics. It's as if it's regulating its own temperature like a living organism would. For decades, we've believed that interstellar objects are dead travelers, remnants of other systems wandering endlessly through space. But 3i divided by Atlas refuses to fit into that mold. Its behavior defies every model, every expectation, every law we thought we knew about celestial mechanics. And here's where the story takes an even more mysterious turn. The Parker Solar Probe, one of NASA's most advanced spacecraft, flying within the solar wind just beyond Mercury's orbit, recorded electromagnetic disturbances, coinciding precisely with three I divided by Atlas's passage. These weren't random noise patterns. They had rhythm, order, a repeating pulse spaced exactly every 11 minutes and 42 seconds. When scientists converted those patterns into sound frequencies, the result was haunting. A deep resonant hum modulating faintly over time, almost like a voice lost in static. It wasn't a transmission in the traditional sense, but it carried coherence structure. NASA's data team called it the most complex signature ever recorded from a non-terrestrial object. Was it communication? No one can say for sure. But for many in the scientific community, it raises one profound possibility. What if 3i divided by Atlas is not just passing through, but observing us in return? This isn't just speculation, it's a hypothesis born from the data. The object's behavior changes as it passes gravitational bodies. This is known as a flyby anomaly, but what we're seeing is more than just a gravitational interaction. The emissions seem correlated with the planets themselves. It's a pattern of listen and respond that's hard to dismiss as, as coincidence. Is it actively gathering data on planetary magnetic fields, atmospheres, or even our own technological bubble? Think about it. The object has already crossed Mars's orbit, then Earth's, and now Mercury's. Each time it nears a planet, subtle anomalies occur. Magnetic ripples, ionized trails, faint radio emissions. It's almost as if it's scanning measuring, learning. Could it be mapping our solar system, preparing to leave behind a message before it departs forever? For older generations who witnessed the birth of the space age, this moment carries an echo of nostalgia. The same awe that filled hearts when Apollo 11 landed on the moon, or when Voyager's golden record was sent into the cosmos, carrying humanity's voice to the stars. But now, it feels like the tables have turned. We are no longer just the senders. We might be the receivers. Imagine if 3i divided by Atlas carries within it an ancient archive, data patterns, or even biological blueprints from another world. Perhaps it's part of an interstellar communication network designed not with metal and circuits, but with the language of energy, magnetism, and light. Some scientists suggest it could be a fragment of a larger object, a seed, a probe, or even debris from a civilization that perished long ago. Yet, even in death, its technology or biology persists, driven by forces we're only beginning to comprehend. The deeper NASA looks, the stranger the data becomes. As the James Webb telescope tracks its movements, a faint halo of gas has appeared around three I divided by Atlas. Not from sublimation, but from ionized particles reacting to solar radiation. The halo pulses faintly, creating patterns almost identical to those seen in bioluminescent organisms in Earth's oceans. The resemblance is uncanny and unsettling. It makes one wonder, could life in its most extreme form exist even here clinging to an interstellar object hurtling past the sun. If life has truly found a way to exist on 3i divided by Atlas, even in microbial or chemical form, then it means life is not a miracle limited to Earth. It's a universal law. The cosmos, it seems, doesn't ask for permission to create life. 
It just does again and again in infinite variations. NASA's latest data release hints that as 3i divided by Atlas moves away from the sun, it's leaving behind a faint trail. Not dust, but tiny charged particles aligned magnetically like breadcrumbs of energy. Some researchers are calling it a solar echo, as if the object interacted with the sun's field in a way that recorded its own presence, almost like a signature left in light. And maybe that's exactly what it is. Maybe 3i divided by Atlas isn't here to visit. Maybe it's here to announce itself. This single idea directly challenges our search for extraterrestrial intelligence, or SETI. For decades, we've been listening for radio signals for Arecibo moments, but this, this suggests a completely different paradigm. What if advanced intelligence communicates not through noisy, inefficient radio waves, but through physical, information-dense objects? Galactic-scale data packets sent across millions of years. This would explain the silence we haven't heard from them because we've been listening to the wrong channel. The message isn't a sound, it's a thing. That idea alone changes everything. For decades, scientists have debated the Fermi paradox. If intelligent life exists in the universe, why haven't we heard from them? But what if they don't send radio signals or metal ships? What if they send objects, carriers of information designed to survive millions of years, coded in the chemistry of their structure, activated only when touched by the light of a new star. That could mean that 3i divided by Atlas isn't unique. It could be one of many, a messenger among thousands, drifting silently across the galaxy, waiting for intelligent life to notice. As it crosses Mercury's orbit, one thing is certain. The data pouring in is rewriting textbooks in real time. Astrophysicists are now comparing its chemical signatures with those from meteorites found on Earth. Early indications suggest a strange similarity. Isotopic ratios of oxygen and carbon that don't match anything local to our solar system, yet echo traces found in pre-solar grains. Those rare particles older than our own Sunday. If that connection holds true, it means 3i divided by Atlas might be older than the solar system itself a relic from a forgotten star carrying within it the memory of a world that once was, perhaps even the remnants of life that didn't survive. And that brings us to the most haunting question of all. Is 3i divided by Atlas a survivor or a warning? If this object was ejected from a dying system, maybe it's carrying the story of that destruction the way Voyager carries ours. A time capsule drifting endlessly, whispering, we were here. Whatever happens next, NASA and the European Space Agency are preparing for the most critical observation phase yet. As 3i divided by Atlas completes its turn around the Sun and begins its journey back into the outer solar system, telescopes will be watching, listening, measuring every flicker, every pulse of light. Because what it does next, whether it accelerates, disintegrates or changes course, could reveal its true nature. If it speeds up, it might mean propulsion, an active system responding to solar energy. If it slows down, perhaps it's exhausted. And if it changes direction, well, that would rewrite the definition of impossible. For now, we can only watch and wonder. Because somewhere out there, beyond Mercury's orbit, an interstellar traveler continues its silent voyage. It may not have a voice, but it speaks in light, in rhythm, in mystery. And if we listen carefully, it might be telling us a story not just about itself, but about us. After all, we too are travelers born from stardust, reaching into the unknown, asking the same ancient question, are we alone? The real lesson here isn't just about three I divided by Atlas. It's about the power of curiosity, the universe is under no obligation to make sense to us or to fit into the neat boxes we've built. This object reminds us that our most profound discoveries won't come from finding what we expect, but from having the courage to explore what we don't understand. It teaches us to stay open-minded and to keep looking up. So, 
What do you think three I divided by Atlas really is? A rock, a relic, or a message written in light? Let me know your theory down in the comments below. And if you felt the wonder of this cosmic mystery, please hit that subscribe button and share this with someone who still looks up at the night sky. Because maybe, just maybe, the universe has been sending us messages all along. And for the first time, we're beginning to understand the language.